Post Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Eric E. Oaks, welcome to the United States Army Training Center in Fort Jackson for the retirement review of two soldiers and graduation of companies Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, and Echo from the 2nd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment, 193rd Infantry Brigade. Please stand for the invocation given by Chaplain Laskowski. Let us pray. Almighty God, we acknowledge your presence here today as we begin this ceremony. And we are grateful for the blessings and freedoms we enjoy today because of the men and women who served before us and defended this great nation. We recognize our retiring soldiers today, Sergeant First Class Jonathan Theobald and Sergeant First Class Ryan Theobald, and we ask your blessing over them and their families. Lead them to new opportunities of service as they transition into retirement. As we celebrate the accomplishments of the 260th Infantry Regiment's graduating soldiers, we thank you for enabling them to adapt and to overcome in the face of every task or obstacle. We are grateful for the professionalism and discipline instilled by our outstanding drill sergeants as they took ordinary citizens from all over the nation and shaped them into the soldiers standing before us today. As these graduates conquered hardships, anxiety, and fear, they earned the right to call themselves U.S. Army soldiers, and they are now prepared to live as examples of the Army values. We ask your blessing over them today in their future Army careers. May they always act with integrity, with personal courage, and skill. Bless also their families and friends that have gathered here. Bless our leadership and the cadre of the Scouts Out Battalion and their family members. We commit this ceremony now to you, O oh God, for your glory and for the good of our great nation as we ask these things in your holy name. Amen. Please be seated. The purpose of today's ceremony is to recognize the commitment of the men and women you see here who have chosen to serve their country as soldiers. This review is the last official formation in the careers of two lifelong soldiers and for our newest soldiers. Not everyone successfully completes this difficult period of training. Far fewer are able to accept the challenges and difficulties that come with the life of a career soldier. But those in formation today represent disciplined, motivated, physically fit soldiers who exemplify the Army's seven core values, loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. They are imbued with the warrior ethos and display the tenets of putting the mission first, never accepting defeat, never quitting, and never leaving behind a fallen comrade. This is an important day, and these soldiers can take great pride in their accomplishments. To the parents, families, and friends of these soldiers, Fort Jackson extends a very warm welcome and, sincere, a vo a very warm and sincere welcome. We are justifiably proud of our retirees' lifelong dedication to our nation and are truly honored that the next generation standing on this field have chosen to join our ranks. Please direct your attention to the left of the formation. The units marching today from your left to your right are the 282nd Army Band under the direction of First Sergeant David Newcomb with the Drum Major Staff Sergeant Graham Hutchison. Graduating soldiers from companies Alpha, Bravo, the Battalion Color Guard, and graduating soldiers from Charlie, Delta, and Echo. Identified by their distinctive headgear are the drill sergeants. These dedicated non-commissioned officers form the backbone of the Army's training center system, selected based on professional competence, leadership ability, and years of service. These men and women undergo intensive training to earn the right to wear their distinctive hat and insignia. With the drill sergeant hat, comes the important responsibility of molding civilian men and women into soldiers. The commander of troops for today's ceremony is Major Obadako, who serves as the executive officer for the 2nd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment. He and the battalion staff are positioned on the field.
The reviewing officer for today's graduation is the commander of the 2nd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Bailey. On his left is Command Sergeant Major Henderson, the battalion's senior non-commissioned officer, master trainer, and principal advisor to the commander. The commander of troops will now bring forward the colors and persons to be honored. Competence and commitment are the hallmarks of professionalism. The soldiers and drill sergeants coming forward will be recognized for their excellence in training and duty performance and serve as examples to all. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the national anthem. It is appropriate for soldiers in uniform and all armed forces veterans to salute the American flag. We ask our civilian guests to please remove your headgear and place your right hand over your heart as our national anthem is played. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness the retirement of a lifelong soldier. All soldiers begin their journey by graduating from basic combat training. Over the years, there have been changes to how the Army conducts basic training. However, many things remain the same. It was during basic training that these two soldiers were first introduced to the Army values. It is where they learned the importance of teamwork and that the Army truly is a family. That sense of team and Army family is still embedded in what is done here today. Over 20 years ago, these soldiers took the same oath to defend this nation that your loved ones on the field have taken. We salute these great soldiers as they pass the torch of freedom along to the newest generation of soldiers, your loved ones standing on the field today. A certificate of appreciation from the President of the United States is, is presented to those retiring today. It reads, I extend to you my personal thanks and the sincere appreciation of our grateful nation for your contribution of honorable service to our country. 
You have helped to maintain the security of the nation during critical times in its history with a devotion to duty and a spirit of sacrifice in keeping with the proud traditions of the military service. I trust that in the coming years, you will maintain an active interest in the armed forces and the purpose for which you served. Those who follow in your footsteps will draw inspiration from your commitment, dedication, and sacrifices made to ensure the protection of our American freedoms. My best wishes to you for happiness and success in the future. A certificate of retirement from the Chief of Staff, United States Army, is also presented to those retiring today. And to the spouses of today's retirees, the Chief of Staff, United States Army, sends the following certificate. It reads, on the occasion of the retirement of your spouse from active status with the United States Army, you have earned our grateful appreciation for your unselfish, faithful, and devoted service. Your unfailing support and understanding helped to make possible your spouse's lasting contribution to the nation. At this time, Brigadier General Kelly and Command Sergeant Major Oaks will recognize our retirees for their service to the United States Army. Sergeant First Class Theobald Jonathan, having served honorably for 20 years of service, is placed on the retirement list effective 31 July 2023. Sergeant First Class Theobald entered active duty in Troy, Ohio, and will reside in Blythewood, South Carolina upon retirement. His fondest professional achievement was improving the organizations that he worked for. The nation salutes Jonathan Theobald, Sergeant First Class, United States Army, retired. Sergeant First Class Theobald Ryan, having served honorably for 20 years of service, is placed on the retirement list effective 31 August 2023. Sergeant First Class Theobald entered active duty in Troy, Ohio, and will reside in Lenore City, Tennessee upon retirement. His fondest professional achievement was being a member of the Sergeant Morales Club, member of the Sergeant Audie Murphy Club, and an, in an inductee in the Order of the Marshal Say 31 Bravo Military Police Medallion. The nation salutes Ryan Theobald, Sergeant First Class, United States Army, retired. Please join me in another a round of applause for our retirees and their families. Although newly retired, they will always be a part of our Army family. The soldiers most responsible for the training of these soldiers are the drill sergeants who are carefully selected by the Department of the Army. 
The drill sergeant campaign hat and badge have been a stoic symbol of professionalism and pride since 1962. At this time, the drill sergeant of the cycle from Charlie Company, 2nd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment, Drill Sergeant Cherney, will recite the drill sergeant creed. We ask that all drill sergeants, past and present, please stand for the reciting of the drill sergeant creed. Ladies and gentlemen, Lieutenant Colonel Bailey and Command Sergeant Major Henderson will now present the awards. The Outstanding Drill Sergeant of the Cycle for 260th Infantry Battalion is Drill Sergeant Turney from Brookfield, Wisconsin. <laughs> the Soldier of the Cycle for Alpha Company is Private First Class Ter Paw from Waterloo, Iowa. The soldier leader of the cycle for Alpha Company is Private First Class Gabriel Ponce from Bakersfield, California. The soldier of the cycle for Bravo Company is Private Choi Sandberg from Palm Harbor, Florida. The soldier leader of the cycle for Bravo Company is Private First Class Paola Garcia from Davenport, Florida. The soldier of the cycle for Charlie Company is Private Dominique Brown from Andover, Kansas. The soldier leader of the cycle for Charlotte Company is Sergeant Stephen Tudor from Norfolk, Virginia. The soldier of the cycle for Delta Company is Specialist Gidi Ambergino from San Francisco, California. The soldier leader of the cycle for Delta Company is Specialist William Portsline from Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania. The soldier of the cycle for Echo Company is Private Uses Arrow from Fort Thompson, South Dakota. The soldier leader of the cycle for Echo Company is Private First Class Jokelia Jackson from Kissimmee, Florida.
Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of the 2nd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Bailey. Major General and Mrs. Michelides, Brigadier General and Mrs. Kelly, Command Sergeant Major Oaks, Colonel and Mrs. White, Command Sergeant Major Duncan, Captain Mattingly, Captain Martinez, Master Chief Hawkraver, Mr. Tim Bundick, distinguished guests, cadre, friends, and families, thank you for joining us for today's graduation ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, before you stand 774 Americans. They came to us 10 weeks ago as your husbands and wives, sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, and that they remain but they are now also American soldiers. They've been trained and tested, and each has demonstrated a host of attributes to be standing in the field before you today. They've learned the value of discipline, both the discipline to stand at the position of attention on the parade field and the discipline to pull security in a foxhole at 2 a.m. They've enhanced their fitness, each of them marching more than 50 miles over the past 10 weeks. They've learned teamwork, whether it's through carrying a fallen comrade, helping one another through an obstacle course, or fixing a friend's equipment before an inspection. They've mastered an array of warrior tasks and drills, learning to engage and destroy targets over three football fields away. They've shown grit, not letting rain or darkness, hunger or fatigue prevent them from doing their duty. And through all that, they've gained pride in the service they are now joining. Though their uniforms are unadorned with ribbons, combat patches, or in some cases, even rank, they wear them with the same pride as do their drill sergeants, and as do I. And I am proud to call them comrades. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for these American soldiers. As an acknowledgement of the pride we all feel in serving our country, and in appreciation of honorable service rendered, I ask that all veterans and retirees of any American military service please stand now and be recognized. Thank you for answering the call to duty and serving our country. We are proud to be carrying on your legacy and contributing to our great nation. As the careers of these soldiers before you are just beginning, and having recognized the years of service from amongst our audience, I think it a fitting time to recognize the culmination of two Army careers and the retirement of two outstanding soldiers, Sergeants First Class Jonathan and Ryan Theobald. These brothers have between them 40 years of service to our nation. I would also add that as the future sometimes echoes the past, we have on the field two identical brothers graduating today to carry on this tradition. I'd also like to add that Sergeant's First Class Jonathan and Ryan Theobald's father First Sergeant Retired John Theobald is with us today. And Jonathan's wife, Anna, please stand as well. First Sergeant, please. Ladies and gentlemen, that's 74 years of service to our country standing right there. Outstanding.
None of us serve alone, so I also need to thank the entire Theobald family. Ryan's wife, Shannon, their children, Jonathan, James, Jacob, Luke, and Annabelle, who looks lovely, I would add. Please join me in a round of applause for the Theobald family. Congratulate them on your time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd be remiss if I failed to recognize the 282nd band who are sharing the field with us today. We have the privilege of having one of the best bands in the U.S. Army right here on Fort Jackson. They always bring a wonderful touch of class to this ceremony. Thank you very much, 282nd. The last group of individuals I'd like to recognize are the drill sergeants and other cadre that transformed your loved ones into soldiers. They left an indelible mark on those they've trained and their efforts will bear fruit for decades to come. Drill sergeants are specially selected from across the Army and undergo rigorous training at the Drill Sergeant Academy. On a daily basis, they embody the attributes of a soldier and live the Army values. Loyalty, duty, honor, selfless service, integrity, respect, and personal courage. They have spent the last 10 weeks working hard to ensure that your soldier, made through basic training, is prepared for life in the Army. I'd now like to specifically recognize five drill sergeants for being selected as drill sergeant of the cycle from their respective companies. Drill sergeants Ankrum, Michelle, Cherney, Sheely, and Hill. Congratulations and thank you on the job well done. <laughs> to the families, teachers, Coaches, mentors, and friends watching this ceremony, either in person or virtually, thank you for your support and trust in us to care for your loved ones. It has been an honor. Please continue to support your soldiers as they commence their Army journey. Soldiers of the 2nd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment, you arrived at Fort Jackson as individuals. You leave here as members of the greatest combat team on Earth. Thank you for answering the call to duty. I am proud to have been your commander. I wish you well in the journey you're beginning. There's no tell where it will go. Always remember that you are a soldier for life. You live by the Army values, and the most important thing on your uniform isn't your ribbons or badges, your unit patch or your rank, is the letters US. Always wear them with pride. Dear Presser Libert, scouts out. No ground to give. And victory! Today's soldier is, above all, a warrior, adaptive, confident, and competent. As a soldier, you are totally committed to the warrior ethos, grounded in Army values, and determined to destroy the enemies of the United States of America and her allies. The United States Army Soldiers' Creed embodies this commitment. To the soldiers on the field, the uniform you wear at this moment is more than an outward display of your vocational choice. Your uniform is a symbol of a nation, and an unspoken assurance to all who see you that you are a willing and able protector of the freedoms fought so arduously for by all who have gone before and those who will bravely come after. You have become what you set out to be, a soldier in the United States Army. The Soldier's Creed is your declaration of your unshakable commitment to the ideals this nation was founded upon and will continue to guarantee. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand as Sergeant Tudor presents a certificate of appreciation to the retirees and leads the soldiers standing before you through the reciting of the Soldier's Creed.
Please be seated. In consideration of those around you, we ask that you please remain seated and in the bleachers until all soldiers have passed the reviewing stand and the conclusion of the ceremony is announced. As you are approached by the American flag, it is appropriate to rise and remain standing until the American flag has passed you to your right. Once the ceremony has concluded, family members of awardees may meet their soldier under the canopy located to the left of the bleachers. All other family members and friends, please meet your soldier on the field, once instructed by the narrator, by respective companies. The 2nd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment, was formed in June 1917 Two sixtieth served throughout World War I, World War II, and Vietnam. In World War II, at the Battle of Sejanan, two sixtieth held off an attack on all four sides by a force twice its number. Look at those devils go, a German officer said, earning the 60th Infantry its motto, Go Devils. In 1944, the unit advanced so rapidly through France that it broke free of its sister units and was, for a time, thought to be lost. This action originated the battalion motto, Scouts Out. During its campaign history, the unit earned 23 campaign streamers, including four for the First World War, eight for the Second, and 11 from the war in Vietnam. Nine soldiers in the unit have received the Congressional Medals of Honor. Welcome to Easy Company. Passing the reviewing stand is the commander of troops, Major Obadako, and the battalion staff.
Alpha Company is commanded by Captain Jackson. First platoon is led by Drill Sergeant Bud.